ever wanted to ride. Yet the coaster that somehow managed to show up at every freaking theme park in the world. Seriously, why do parks install these horrible contraptions? The Vacoma SLC, which does not stand for Salt Lake City. Prepare to lose every brain cell in your body as you board perhaps the roughest and most unbearable coaster model ever made. There's a reason they're all called Mind Eraser. Well, not all of them. Come on, Maurice Piers. Should have named it Mind Eraser. Or Brain Crusher. Or Head Destroyer. Face Melter. Skull Smasher. Or Mind... Uh... Mind Bender. You thought the first Vacoma SLC you wrote was pretty bad. Now expect your second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Alright, alright, we get it. Expect all of the others to be just as bad. I mean, it's not too surprising. They all have the same exact layout. Seriously, what were they thinking? Magic Cheeseburger, should we add a coaster this year? Yes. Magic Cheeseburger, should we add an Intamin Mega Light? No. Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. Can we add a B&M dive coaster? No. Well, what about a Mac multi-launch? No. Well, what can we add? A Vacoma SLC. Dang it. Well, Magic Cheeseburger's always right. You bet I am, you son of a- Yep, that's probably how it happened. I, on the other hand, love riding Vacoma SLCs. Well, you need to rethink your life. Hey, that's not very nice. Well, neither are SLCs, so it works. You hated the color scheme from Mind Eraser and Six Flags. Well, get used to those ugly colors because it just so happens that they all look about as bad as they run. Like, really, we got an all-white one, an all-red one, and a McDonald's one. Nice going, people. Maybe they should have had someone choose the color scheme who wasn't colorblind. In an effort to make the coaster more bearable, watch as Moist Piers at better trains on the Great Nor'easter, which did eliminate the headbanging, but failed to fix literally everything else. Yeah, should have just removed it instead. You hated T2 at Six Flags Kentucky Kingdom. Now watch as Kentucky Kingdom attempts to restore it by giving it new trains and a new name, T3. What did you think of T3? Um, ow. <laughs> well said. The Vacoma sucks like crap, or SLC for sure.